welcome to Long's Toys. Sorry for the bit of a hiatus there, but uh, my birthday was this weekend, so I kind of had stuff going on, so I apologize for that. But I return with a review that I probably should have gotten to earlier, but it's been a little bit of a backup. We have the Guitar Ningeki Star Sword Gun, and it comes with the uh, Furai Nin Shuriken. So we will be taking a look at this bad boy. The box is massive. As you can see, it hardly... Uh, fits in the frame here but basically it is a combination star sword guitar gun it's got all kinds of stuff going on nice picture of star ninja here on the side picture of him there on the top he's on this side he's on this side he's all over the thing you can see there he's playing it like a guitar so he's got sword gun mm, not really sure I guess he's just kind of standing there some more anyway we'll get this guy out of the packaging and we'll take a look what it's all about alright so here is the star sword gun and the shuriken you get out of the package here uh, first impressions just right out of the box it's it feels small I mean I know it is a kids toy uh, but this part of it just takes up so much of the toy that the very tiny blade you're left with it's very tiny. But I guess you can pretend to play your little guitar. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. Uh, basically, two AAA batteries here in the hilt. You can see this is the release for the shuriken. You have a trigger on the sword handle. You have a trigger on the gun handle. Also because of the gun handle. Kind of makes for a weird looking star, but it kind of works. Not really anything up here. Here's your speaker. I do kind of like the gun barrel up here. I think that looks pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, go ahead and turn it on, on and off switch right here. Uh, there we go. There's not really any lights or anything, it's just sounds. So press this for a generic slash sound. Same for the trigger down here for a gun sound. You press this button. Obviously with nothing attached. You can't really do anything, but either of the triggers will cancel it. So putting this down for a second. This is the shuriken that you get. It's a lightning and wind shuriken. Now with this one, this does not come off. With all the other ones, the outside part could rotate around. But I at least have not found a way that you can do that. There's no button on the side to hold down. This button is for spinning around in the shuriken. Or I should say the spinnikin. <laughs> the spinnikin. The shuriken spinning in the sword. But anyway, there's a button on the back. No LEDs. If you flip this down... And then if you flip it back up, it'll announce the other kind. So, from what you do here is you go ahead and pop this on. If you spin it by itself without pressing anything. This will say Hurricane Jer. Or I guess just Hurricane Ja, like Hurricane Magic. If you flip it to the other one... And it's hard to hear because of the sounds of this. If I go ahead and just turn this off, just so you can hear the sounds better. It says thunder jaw. And it says hurricane jaw, which kind of sounds like hurricane which was a previous Sentai. Um, if you turn this back on, if you press the button first, I really like this music. So 
So if you press the button on the handle of the sword, you get Ninja Slash. If you press the button on here, on the part of the gun, I should say, you'll get Ninja Shot. Now, to me, they sound very similar. If you have a trained ear, maybe there's a difference that I'm just not getting. But even if I change this... So with the exception of Thunder Jaw or Hurricane Jaw coming from the Shuriken when you spin it, I can't tell a difference in the attacks. Even from the two different kinds of magic and also the two different sword and, and gun. And maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe there is a difference and I'm just not hearing it. I mean, either way, it's a cool sound. It just would have been neat if it could tell, you know, which one it was on. Or at least a different sound for the powered-up versions of these two. That would have been easy enough. But if you go ahead and remove it, you can push those in and pop this off. Also, the nice flame decals are here, which have kind of been on all of the Ninja stuff. Now, we do have some other shuriken. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with Rodeo Maru. Only because it really doesn't do anything. It tells that something spun, but there's no additional sounds out of this. So, not really much going on with Rodeo Maru here. But it is a cool shuriken. But there is some added functionality if you bring in the Star Ninja shuriken. And then if you press the button... So it just kind of pulls an additional sound out of the shuriken. It's not really any additional sounds out of the star gun. Star sword gun, I should say. And then just for fun, pop on a regular ninja shuriken. It's going to just be the same basic sounds that would normally come out of this. So, nothing exciting there. But we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the other sounds that the shurikens make in other devices. Uh, but that's pretty much it here for the Star Sword Gun. So just real quick with this. This doesn't make any additional sounds, but it's a really nice way to just get the sounds out of this. I thought I would use it just for a nice clear way to hear the shuriken sounds without anything going on in the background. So that's really it for that. And then last but not least, not really too much new uh, with this, but you can pop it on. So as you can see, the sounds don't really line up. So 
So not really anything new there. So overall, I think the Star Sword Gun is pretty fun. I definitely wish it was a little bit longer, but I understand it's for little kids. Uh, it fits decently in my hand, but it's just a little bit too small. But again, I understand. Uh, the shuriken that comes with it I think is pretty fun. I think uh, you can get a decent amount of sounds out of the sword gun itself. As far as, you know, the two different uh, sword and gun mode. Then there's the special attack for sword and gun. Although they kind of sound the same. I think the, probably out of the two, the shuriken is a little bit more fun than just the sword itself. But you do get some more functionality out of it by being able to put the Star Ninja Shuriken on the sword gun. So that's kind of cool. In the end, I think it's fun to play with. I think it makes enough sounds that definitely a kid would be interested in it. As for a collector, you know, you're, you're going to vary by how much you enjoy playing with this kind of stuff. I don't know if they have plans as of right now to do like a candy toy or a Gashapon version of just this shuriken so i think right now if you want that shuriken this is the only way to get it if 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 it's anything like took huger was last year ninja stuff is probably gonna rock bottom out as it gets closer to the next sentai which i understand is a little bit away we still have about halfway to go uh but if you're patient and you just want to pick this stuff up later for you know much cheaper than normal retail price that's probably going to be an option for you so, if you can't wait and you have to have it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's not terribly expensive. It's kind of fun. Uh, but if you can wait, I would say wait because they're probably going to get clearanced off eventually and you'll be able to grab one for pretty cheap. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you think this thing's worth it, if you think it's fun, if you've got one, if you've done anything super fun with it, let me know. Uh, please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the... Star Ninja Star Sword Gun with the, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, but Furi Nin Shuriken. And, uh, thanks for watching.